In this section, we're going to be looking at the slope formula. The slope formula is used in order to find the slope between two different points on the same line. So pretend we have the coordinates x1, y1, and we have the coordinate pair x2, y2. We want to find the slope between these two different points on the same line. Slope, which is represented by the variable m, is going to equal y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. This is the slope formula. Now we're going to look at an example of how to use this in order to find the slope. We have the coordinates 4, negative 2, and negative 1, 2. Now let's label them so we don't get confused. x1, y1, x2, y2. Now let's rewrite the slope formula. m equals y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Now we can plug in the numbers for the variables. So m equals 2 minus negative 2 over negative 1 minus negative 4. Because there's two negatives together, it becomes a plus. So we can do 2 plus 2, which equals 4. And then negative 4 minus 4 is going to equal negative 5. So the slope of the line is going to be negative 4 fifths. Now we're going to be finding the slope using a graph. And on this graph, we have two points, negative 2, negative 1, and 2, 2. We're going to make point coordinates 2, 2, x1, and y1. And we're going to make coordinates negative 2, negative 1, x2, and y2. Now we can set up the slope formula, which would be y2 minus y1 first, so negative 1 minus 2 over negative 2 minus 2. Now let's simplify this. Negative 2 minus 2 is going to give us a negative 3. Negative 2 minus 2 is going to give us a negative 4. Because there's two negatives, it becomes a positive 3 fourths. So the slope of the line is 3 fourths. Now we're going to look at an example of finding slope from an equation. Here we have the equation 6x minus 5y equals 30. So we want to start off by finding two sets of coordinates. So we're going to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So if you remember from the last section, we're going to find the x-intercept by replacing y with 0. So 6x minus 5 times 0 equals 30. When we simplify, we get 6x equals 30. And then in order to isolate the variable x, divide both sides by 6. So you get x equals 5, which would be the x-intercept, and give us the coordinate pair 5, 0. So that would be x1 and y, y1. Now we're going to find the y-intercept. So plug in 0 for x. So 6 times 0 minus 5y equals 30. So we can simplify that to negative 5y equals 30. So in order to isolate the y, we have to divide both sides by negative 5, which leaves us with y equals negative 6. And because this is the y-intercept, the coordinates would be 0, negative 6. So we can now use the slope formula in order to find the slope of the line. So y2 minus y1 first, so negative 6 minus 0 over x2 minus x1, which would be 0 minus 5. When we simplify, we get negative 6 over negative 5. Because it's two negatives, it becomes positive. So the slope of the line would be 6 over 5.